I work through that. Let's see if he's improving from the last time we saw him. He's got a family to support. He says, I can barely afford to live in St. Louis. I can't come out to San Diego except for those six weeks. But so far, so good. And down goes Marquez. Four, five, six, six. Tonight he came in. He told us that southpaws would be no issue. A little quick little jab right there. Got some distance. Mm. We see a short left and a right hand that buzzed and hurt Marquez. And he followed up with the right shots from the right range. That can be tricky for a right-hander fighting a left-hander. But not for Stephen Shaw. We just see him in the right range, just letting the shots go. Not too close. Not too far apart. I text my big brother, Corey Spinks, Corey Spinks, St. Louis native, somebody, great champion, former great champion, and somebody that Shaw grew up watching and idolizing. I said, what do you think about Stephen Shaw? He just texts back, I like. Yeah. Oh, down for the second time is Marquez here in the first vote round. Five, six, seven, eight. We see Market, we see Shaw come in right now and try to close the show. Another shot right there. Didn't seem like it was much, but we see right here for a big man like Shaw to land a clean shot like that on the side of the ear. It can Shaw said, I'm very comfortable fighting southpaws. And it seems that way because that la that right hand is the poison for any southpaw. And it's very effective against Marquez. And the left hook. Mm. Downstairs, that's the one that hurt him. And down for the third and final time is Bernardo Marquez as Stephen Shaw proves that his name is true. Big shot Shaw. Half step back right there from Shaw. Another half step back. This is a big man doing this. This is a big man with this kind of skill and wherewithal to step back, take half steps back, and get leverage on every shot that he's landing. So much so where the referee has to come in and stop the fight.